Hello, and welcome to my latest tutorial, which is going to be how to keyframe expressions in Adobe After Effects. Now, expressions have a lot of uses in After Effects, and one of the things that you can do is, like, you can keyframe your camera shake, you can keyframe anything that involves an expression. So here's an example of what you can keyframe. Like, right after this guy is shot, you can see that the camera starts shake, camera shake starts and that's actually keyframed through this technique that I'm going to show you right now. So if we go on into After Effects, we can see that oh I did not want to import this one. I wanted to import a raw clip. So just go to here. Sorry about that. Alright, so we got our raw clip here. So if we zoom in on this a little bit, we can see that it's just in most video games there's just a stationary camera like that just goes right in front of the guy's face which I mean is not very very well it's not really realistic because I mean you're not gonna look perfectly like straight in on a scope and stuff there's gonna be sway so what people do to sort of add that is an effect called wiggle and so if you wanted to do that Generally, you just go under your position, and then you use what's called an expression, which is like you just do wiggle, and then say three comma, and then however however many pixels you ah oh man sorry about that however many pixels you want it to like move around. But there's a certain way that you can keyframe that so that it can do whatever you want. Like you can keyframe how much it moves and how intensely it moves. Now, the way to do that is to just not put anything in the second, uh, like, value for wiggle. And so if you just exit out of that, you'll get an error, but that is okay. So what you're going to do is to make a new null object, and then go under your effects and presets, and then look for slider control. So if we drag that on here, now we have our slider control here. So what you can do is go into your original expression of your position and if we take a look at that we can alright so you go into your original expression for your position right here and then you pick whip to the slider so you can keyframe the values of it and after you do that don't forget to put the second parentheses in or else it'll mess up so once you've keyframed that what you can do is go to wherever you want your like wiggle to start which is right here so go here make your original keyframe at zero then move forward if you hold shift and then hit the next button move forward like 10 frames 20 frames or something and then turn that up to say 10 then after that it'll start wiggling around but um, one thing you want to do to your clip before you start doing that is scale it to say maybe 105, 110. So that way when it wiggles, it's got like none of the black edges come up and such. So that's just a quick way to keyframe expressions. And probably in the next tutorial I will show you like my wiggle settings that I use in how to like completely do it so that your camera shake looks really nice like the example I showed you guys so stay tuned for that next tutorial this is ebuds hd and i am out